Hi everyone. Okay, I wanted to show you all the differences and the similarities between the SC8E and SC8, same uh, chassis, same platform, just with the nitro motor, with the SC8E, 8.2E, and the Nomad DB8, which is Team Associated's new truck that came out a couple months ago. And the one on the left, which came out almost 10 years ago. Now, the SC8 is a staple platform that they've been using. Um, and it's been such an awesome truck. Now, you can find these. You can pick these up for in roller status. Uh, no motor, no ASC. Maybe with the steering servo. For a couple hundred dollars. And uh, probably ready to run. Uh, maybe three, 350 400 tops um, and then the, the Nomad DB8 with uh, ready to run is $500 $520 and the combo kit is $600 so you can save a lot of money and still have a DB8 now this is the SC8 body and it goes on just fine Post a little bit, but there's the front post and there's the back post, okay? On both of them, either or body post, body post, they're in the same spot. So DB8 can go on both as well. C8 chassis and of course on his chassis okay. okay so what's the difference back end completely identical a arms carriers um, this must have been a factory team kit because it does have the CVD axles is where the ready to runs of course come with dog bones okay <clears throat> shock tower is different shocks are a lot longer on the SC8 which is an easy fix you could actually I would probably leave the body the shock tower the same and just change the shocks out to the the big wars that come with the DPA of course front bumpers or this is the rear bumper is different and of course they are pretty cheap chassis is exactly the same so rear a arms are the same the only difference in the rear of course would be the shocks and the shock tower and then the uh hexes on the db8 they put on extended hexes to put the wheels out a little bit further pretty easy fix to get those other than that Chassis is the same, everything else is the same. Motor mount, motor plate, all that is the same. Radio position is the same. Steering servo is the same. Battery tray is the same. <coughs> the skirts, plastic skirts on the outside of the frame are the same. Steering components, steering tree towers, the same. Everything's the same. Of course, the out drives are. The short ones that's a different one than that one but and then the longer ones on the dba but your carriers are the same the a arms now they are a little bit beefier a little bit wider on the nomad but other than that shock position has changed to be in instead of on top the front bumper of course is way different um, and then shock tower to accommodate for the different style shocks not really very adjustable on that one not really very adjustable on that one now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it from this position here and I'm going to move them out to be more straight up and down to this uh, body post holder position here 
on the front and the back. That's gonna give me a lot more lift for that and then the front bumpers. But it is essentially wheelbase to wheelbase is identical. So an SC8 is a DB8. And then of course tire size. Tires are way, way bigger. And I guess that's a better way of doing it. Right there. God dang it. Tire size between a short course tire and a DB8 rock bar tire. And these are pretty hard. And these are really, really soft. I like them. So eventually, the SC8 is going to turn into a DB8 for me, and then I will have two. So I hope this gave you a lot of information. Same truck, different price.